straight 30 plus seasons for the Buckeyes, and he has led them down the stretch. Three goals, 13 points. Participate in each year. Known more as a playmaker than a finisher during his college career. Well, He's a the senior. By He's always been a good plus minus performer. And it's a huge anyway. goal for the Buckeyes. Paul Caponegri with his 16th goal of the year and a team high 35th point. Six oh, Paul Caponegri in his 17th. Welcome into a special Big Ten Tournament edition of the Big Ten Hockey Report. Rick Pizzo alongside Paul Caponegri. And as six teams... And I mean, what can you say? You, you saw all those things. He's also probably the favorite for the Hobie Baker as the top player in the whole country. And to be able to do it as an 18-year-old consistently, every game, every weekend, it's, it's just been really fun to watch. No one could have ever... St. Paul Cappy, same story. It is, and it's amazing. You keep waiting for these guys to maybe slow down a little bit, but that top line just keeps coming at you. They produce at the bright times and big moments, late in that Minnesota game, getting that tying goal, and then even Zach Wierenski, maybe their best player all around on the defensive end, gets the big winning goal to take them to the title. And that's why there was no surprise. It will be interesting to see because I almost think of the, of the draw that they got there, they got the team that's coming in the least hot. North Dakota's lost only one game in their last 10. And Northeastern, not to even go back past the bean pot, is 21-2 and two in their last 23 games, which is ridiculous. Shows how bad they had a first half. For quite some time. Yeah, it's been fun, and it's been leading up. And it's going to be interesting because they both had the weekend off. Michigan had one game, but a lot of time to prepare for this game heading into a huge weekend. In Minnesota, Paul Caponegri, I'm Rick Pizzo as we wrap up another edition of the Big Ten Hockey Report. Bashing and Justin Clues, their top scoring forwards. They needed them to produce in the third period, and that's exactly what they've done to give themselves a two-goal lead here. You talked about it in the second period was Hudson bashing and how the other guys need to get on the train with him. He's been great. He's been battling, hustling all over. I mean, he's got the skill. He's got the size. He's got the battle. He's doing it all. The Badgers are doing what needs to get done. You know, they've had some rough times this season, but you can see them building, building confidence getting those little things done, blocking shots. Minnesota has come fast and furious early on, but they're getting sticks in lanes. They're getting their bodies in front, making things a little easier for Matt Jerusik. You know, the scoreboard doesn't show up, but I felt like you guys had a good period. How do you assess it? Yeah, we, uh, we for sure had a good period. You know, we were in their zone for a lot of it. What's, well, what's the message? You get the positive, obviously, but getting pucks to the net, beating those sticks, they're blocking a lot of shots. Yeah, you know, they're, uh, they're a good team at getting in the shot lane, and. Uh, I think if we just change the angle. You guys are moving it well. It's, it's another thing. Getting Jerusik behind it, can, it may change things up. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, our power play has been uh, to put these guys away. Thanks for your time, Mike. Appreciate it. Up and down action. Uh, you know, I love it. And I think early on you saw the shorthanded goal. And then after that, Penn State looked a little hesitant. But they righted the ship and uh, were able to get a couple goals and take the lead. Yeah, JT. Conver it's pretty simple, Rick. He is the guy. And as a freshman, sometimes that can be scary. But you're in the second half of that first year. I think he's comfortable, ready to go. Meanwhile, he'll be. Minnesota came with a little pushback there. How, how do you feel your team answered that? I think we answered better than we did in the first. Um, we our play is very good in this in this building. What do you guys have to do? You've been having sticks in lane, but what are the more important things for you to be successful? Uh, we have to make sure we have good gap coming off the ice. I think our most success against our power play is stop continue that. So you got one more period. You're a senior, the border war. What does it mean to you? Put it into words, this last period and this great rivalry. Uh, it's been everything. I grew up 10 minutes from here, a Badger fan. I was always a devil's advocate with my buddies uh, cheering for the Badger. sent off with a win. Thanks for the time, Eddie. Yeah, thank you. We'll have more from the Auto Owners Insurance Intermission Report when we return. It's Big Ten Hockey on BTN.